Yet another example of the traumatic Judeo-Satanist lobby just keeping to the 2,000-year tradition of stifling and censoring free speech, just like a bunch of Nazis or communists. That's the truth of the matter. The traumatic Jewish lobby are professionals of cancel culture and censoring speech they don't like, while hypocritically citing free speech when they agree with what's being expressed. It's only free speech if they agree with it. That's kind of their philosophy. But uh, here's an article, and by the way, this is not an endorsement of this website or socialism as a whole, because you know socialism is every bit as demonic as uh, any other you know cult like fascism or Islam. I'll put it that way. Okay, so this is not an endorsement of socialism by any means whatsoever. But this is on the World Socialist website. It says pro-Israel groups spearhead attack on free speech at high school in suburban Detroit. And by the way, I've already clarified my stance on Israel, so I'm not going to say it repeated it so anyone who accuses me of being racist you're just lying plain and simple but it says in the article an escalating attack on free speech is taking place at the bloomfield hills high school one of michigan's top public high schools in the wealthy suburb of detroit pro-israel parents and zionist groups have reacted vocally uh, against the school administration for allowing a palestinian american activist to speak at student organized at a student organized diversity assemblies for 9 to 12 graders on march 14th yeah again see if, if, if it was a pro-Israel speaker, pro-Judeo-Satan speaker, they would they would be for it. But you see, it's only free speech if they agree with it. When they don't agree with it, well, then they turn on the full-on authoritarian communists and Nazis and want to censor it. Continuing on. There was a heavy turn of hostile parents at an emergency school board meeting on March 20th and a barrage of letters and anti-Muslim social media posts denouncing the appearance of a Palestinian-American activist on Friday, March 24th. The principal, Lawrence... Strutner, Struth, however you say the guy's name, was placed on indefinite leave by Superintendent Pat Watson. Immediately following complaints by Jewish parents, both the principal and superintendent sent emails to the parents apologizing for the event and mischaracterizing the issue as a religious issue, according to one speaker at the board meeting, as though the event had involved a clash between Muslims and Jews. In the ensuing week, my dog is going crazy upstairs, uh, he said that many Palestinian Muslim students were targeted by Zionists, including some who got death threats. Not surprising, typical behavior of the Talmudic Jewish lobby. Continuing on. Alright, sorry about that. Just had an interruption from my dog, just being your typical uh, ADHD, sugar high type of, you know, whatever. But continuing on in the article, it says uh, actually, the Palestinian American activist, Hadua. Araf, I think I say say your name, is a Christian and married to a Jewish man who spoke out, who spoke about the discrimination he experienced as a Palestinian American, and on the oppression of Palest uh, Palestinians in Israel and the West Bank. She was one of five, uh, five speakers on the various forms of discrimination based on race, uh, religion, gender, disability, or sexual orientation. Typical social liberal garbage. Uh, the discussion at the school board meeting opened with a letter from the Muslim Unity Center expressing concern, concern for the Muslim students who have been bullied and intimidated with threats of violence. The signers expressed dismay at the characterization of the Palestinian American activist remarks as anti-Semitic. The reading of the letter was interrupted by hecklers who had been escorted from the room. The letter continued. We deem attempts to silence, ignore, sorry, silence or ignore students from any side of the debate to run counter of the values of a free and open inquiry, critical thinking, and sound education. Well, that, that is true, but again, the Talmudic Jewish lobby is only free speech if they agree with it. See, they're a bunch of hypocritical devils who only will... See, again, if it was something they agree with, like a pro-Jewish Talmudic Judeo-Satanist speaker, they'd be for it. They wouldn't be heckling the, the school board meeting. But because it's something they don't agree with, they turn into full-on Nazis and communists and want to essentially use violence to shut, shut down speech they don't like. Not much has changed when you read the Book of Acts and how they tried to cen uh, censor the speech of the apostles and stir up angry mobs. The Talmudic Jewish lobby and the devil inside of them hate free speech and open expression. They are a threat to freedom of speech and freedom of expression and free and open society. Plain and simple. They pose a bigger threat than any kind of Muslim will any day. Plain and simple. So I wanted to point that out. You can call me, you can call it hate speech all you want. Hey, again, the truth is only hate to those who hate the truth. And it's only, uh, they want it censored. Again, the Talmudic Jewish lobby, they want speech censored when they don't agree with it, but then will cite free speech when they do agree with it. Typical hypocritical Pharisees. Anyway, by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, we be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.